Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to work on the Dumbarn Art Club So Many Books, So Little Time. It's a 56 by 109 and it has 53 colors. We're starting a new section, yay! Okay, so I'm gonna move my sleeve so my sleeve is not gonna be sticking to this. We're gonna start with the 310, which is black because I think I wanna separate all this into section. And then every time we work on it, I can say, okay, we're gonna start with this section and try to finish it in this video. So last week we only did half an hour. I'm hoping this week is at least 45 minutes. For half an hour, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get any, you know, anywhere any fast soon because this is not a small one. Well, it's 22 inches by 43 inches if you don't do the centimeters. So that's almost two feet, right? Two feet by five short or five inches short of four feet. So it is a biggie. And my goal this year, and I know that was my goal last year and man, life you know, kind of takes you in different directions. For me, the biggest thing is I couldn't find any time where the kitchen was free for me to film. So now I'm able to do that. Even today though, like I usually film this when my husband actually goes to work. He has to go to work three times a week. Here's my coffee. And he can work from home twice a week. So I usually film this on the days that he goes to work. Well, today he was supposed to go to work, but my sister-in-law had a surgery and she needs someone to go pick her up. And it's it's not 20 minutes away, it's two and a half hours away. So he took the day off, but now he's just waiting to see, you know, what time her release is gonna be to go pick her up. So he went downstairs. I think he's gonna try and get some work done while he waits. And what I'm gonna do is try to get this filmed because it's supposed to go up tomorrow okay so this is fun oh i mentioned last week that we're watching game of thrones and we are on the last season so we're on season two or season two season eight episode two and there's only six episodes in season eight, so it's almost done. And I don't know, some people, people that watched it like year after year after year, they said he kept not getting good or whatever, and they really hated the ending. I can see why they would hate the ending. <laughs> okay. So I'd be watching something and I go, oh, I don't like that character. I want to know when they meet their demise. <laughs> so I go and Google it because I just want to know. I'm just like, or a character that I really like. Oh, I don't want them to. I'm just taking a drink of coffee. I don't want that to happen to them. And then I go check <laughs> and I'm like, well, I might as well accept it because it's going to happen or which Game of Thrones is known apparently for, you know, getting rid of their main characters. And I was like, what? But I really really like it though. I'm glad I, we took 
because I've been wanting to watch that. I mean, I'm, I've been done work three years on December 31st. It was three years. And I wanted to watch Game of Thrones when I was still at work. And now that I think about it, my friend, we were still on the same team because we watched the first episode together. The first, maybe the first two. And then by the next time, the next shift or whatever, she was already like on episode or on season five or something. I'm like, that was supposed to be something that we were going to watch together. She had watched the whole thing almost. At that time, I think she was caught up. So it was probably like season five or whatever. So it was a long time ago. I don't want to have to to pay for a subscription if I don't have to because I we already you know pay for what do you call it we already pay for Netflix so and right now we're paying for Paramount because ooh we want to watch oh what is the name of that show remember now but the spin-offs are 1863 and 1923 which we've watched everything we watched that main show I can't remember what it's called and then we watched 1863 1923 and now we're watching the lawful men the lawmen of something or other but that one's fairly new, so the episodes are only going up like, you know, once a week or whatever. So that's why we jumped to Game of Thrones. This one has a little burr. This one has a little burr. So let's get rid of it so I don't put it back in my container. Um, so once we're done Game of Thrones, actually, there's House of the Dragon too. And I didn't know, but it's 200 years before, 200 years before Game of Thrones. So, and there's only one episode, one season, and the second season is coming out this summer. Well, what we'll do is just let our subscription expire, and then, you know, when... There's a full season there or whatever. We'll just subscribe for a month. Watch that. Maybe pick a couple other things that are on there. Watch the full season in a month. You know, pick stuff that we can watch quickly. Even if it's a movie or whatever. Get her money's worth. And then... Because there's no way that we can you know, get her money's worth of watching enough Netflix and get her money's worth of watch of having Paramount Plus and get her money's worth of watching Amazon Prime. Like, there's just not enough time. So we only get stuff for a few months and then we watch what we need and then we cancel the subscription, except for Netflix. Netflix, the only one that we've kind of kept over the years because my husband watches it almost every night when there's no hockey on he watches Netflix so I have a few shows that I watch like if there's a new season of Virgin River I'm like boom I'm all over it and I watch it in like a night or two you know I have specific shows Oh, what's it called? There's one that hopefully is coming soon. They keep Bridgertons. They keep pushing it back. Oh, I watched Queen Charlotte on there. It's like a spinoff of Bridgerton. Oh, love it. And there's only going to be one season of that. But it was so good. I loved it so much. Okay. This one there. The last one. I kind of figured it looked like there was... It didn't go down. There we go. I think 
like it's almost time to put some of those like the next row so that I don't know I kind of like looking at, at it and at the same time I like it being a surprise <laughs> although all I have to do is lift it and look so but there's going to be more window down here but way less I can't wait to work like on the book a whole lot on the books a whole lot more. The dragon is almost done, which is sad. His tail goes down a bit, so I'll get to do him for a bit. I should check and see the last time I bought a diamond painting. It was a long time ago. When I look at all the diamond paintings that I have, I'm like, I just cannot justify getting any more. And yes, maybe I won't be able to, you know, get one that I really love, but I won't know about it if I'm not there looking at it all the time. So I'm okay with it. Same thing with books, you know, like I, I just bought books, 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 books. I must have a thousand books. So yes, I probably read maybe 300 of those, maybe 400. I didn't, that has a little burr on it. Let's get rid of that because it's not going to sit properly later. Last year, I didn't help myself because I mainly read from the library which is good you know support your library and all that but I have all these books that is not read in my own and I have to say though I only brought in two books last year that's it two books and my goal again this year is to bring in under 10 and I've been pretty like really good at that so I'm totally, maybe it was three books last year, maybe three, but it was way under 10, whatever it was, it was way under 10. And like last year too, I bought a book in January. It was The Winners by Frederick Bachman. I'm only reading it now. I'm reading it now and it's like, ugh, you know? I've had it for a year. I should have read it. It was on my TBR to read. But I just read, I, just, I read 100 books. I'd say 87 of them, if not 90, were from the library. So what I'm trying to do right now is just have one library book going at a time. Which is working and not working because these are, all have burrs on it. Um, I actually have four on my Libby app right now, but one of them is The Winners by Frederick Bachman. So that book is huge. So I read from it physically, and then when my wrist get tired, then I flip over to the app. Because sometimes I don't, I'm not done reading it, but my wrists are done. So then that's why it's nice. The other one is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Everybody is crazy about that book. Crazy. I think it's okay. Like I'm not like, I'm going to read the sequel. But I'm not crazily like, oh, over it. It's okay. Like when the fifth, when because I read about fifty pages a day, when the fifty pages are done, I'm not like, ooh, I got, I want to read more. With Frederick Bachman, the winners, I feel like that, but then I'm like, okay, I have other stuff to do. So what I've been doing is in the morning I wake up at seven, and I read in the morning, an hour, an hour and a half before I even get up instead of watching videos because I used to watch videos and now I read. So I read 
for like till 8.30, let's say. And then I get up and I start my day. And then I, I go and I, you know, go about my day. I film a whole bunch. And then I, um, you know, if I'm going to get supper ready, I get supper ready. Some days I don't have to get supper ready because I make enough. Where is that ending? Okay, way down here. Um, I make enough that we... I'm not used to cooking for two. Any of you that that happened to that, you know, you've had your kids move out and you're still cooking, like you have a house full? Well, that's me. I'm still cooking like I have a house full. So the good thing about that is... Um, we have leftovers. But sometimes it's not fun when you have leftovers for like three or four days. <laughs> uh, especially soups. I can't make a small bowl of soup, a, a pot of soup. I just cannot do it. It's always these gigantic pots. Oh, well, I love soup. So, and that's one thing I'm going to do. Like I'm, I'm not kind of like at the trial right now. I'm trying different soups. And then I'm going to make videos and share with you, you know, some, some soups that I really like. And I should do that soon because it's winter, right? And then another time I'll share, you know, five, you know, maybe not tried and true, but meals that are new to me. And then I can tell you, oh, this was good or eh. It's okay. I don't know about you, but my biggest thing with cooking is I never know what to make. I'm tired of the same old, same old. And I just want to try new stuff. But then I'm like, oh, you know, I want it to be good. <laughs> trying to figure out where yeah maybe I am gonna put because this is oh it's breaking up that's not good not good okay let's get I mean I still have this right Get that where it needs to go. Right there. And then I'll worry about lifting this. This is like totally breaking apart. What I'm afraid is that piece of it is going to stick. And then I'm going to have a hard time getting rid of it. I did cut this part off but obviously I didn't do a good job on this side do you love my pen I made that pen it was a long time ago probably a couple years ago I need to use them more I need to use them more Fun. I love that all the black is going to be done. And from my calculation, I think that took me about 20 minutes. I mean, I still have a few to put in there, but I have like three minutes before it's 20 minutes. So I'm thinking we'll be at 20. So that means we can take a section Oop, almost threw all the black and threw it on there. We can take a section and try to get a section done. So today's nice outside. It's supposed to be just north of us. They're getting a pretty big storm. So I'm glad that for once it's kind of missing us. 
which will be nice which will be nice sometimes I think oh you know I don't like snow you know I, and I don't I don't like snow but snow and stuff is really good you know to put water back into the earth if you will so and I want a garden next summer so again I just want to make a bigger garden this is my my hope last year we did three beds and it was it was mainly tomatoes and peppers with a little bit of celery I did put them in some of my soups though because what we did was we just cut it up and we froze it okay let's start with uh, what are we gonna start with I don't know There's one N. Why couldn't I have done the N when I did that? Okay, well let's let's do it. What's N? It's case number 15. And it's DMC 414. Okay. So I had three garden beds. I want to bring it up by six. So then I'm gonna have nine. I sat down. And I literally drew out all nine. And then I did this in the winter, so it's all done. I mean, it's still winter, but it's all done. I don't have to worry about doing this when we're trying to plant or whatever. But I figured out how far apart each vegetable needs to be, you know, done. And so when I go to plant, all the research has been done. So that's good. I've already planted garlic because you have to plant that in the fall. I planted a lot of heads of garlics. I forgot to count. I can't believe I forgot to count. But it was a lot. It was probably like, I don't know, 90. Probably still not enough for a whole year of garlic. But what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna freeze them in, in whole garlic heads because I do that now. What I do is I go to Costco and I buy the big package and I separate them all and then I put them in a baggie and then I double baggie it so that it doesn't smell my refrigerator. But I also wanna blend it and freeze them into pucks. Okay, so this number 20 which is DMC 640 so there's not a ton what I'm doing when there's not a lot I'm doing the ones that are over here it just means when I do that section I won't have to do as much and I don't want to open my open something for you know two minutes so and I'm hoping that next, like this year, I guess, that I do a whole lot more preserving than I did this year. This year, because everything was so squished, we lost a lot of tomatoes. Like we tried to um, like trellis them and all that, but they were too close together. So we ended up losing a lot. We still got a lot but we probably could have almost doubled what I ended up putting in jars, you know? So this year I'm hoping to do better with that. And then what else? So I wanna do, I wanna get chickens. I don't know if it's feasible for us to get chickens this summer. It's not taking care of them. It's to build something so that they can live in. That's that's the kicker, right? That's the kicker. Dave's job keeps him pretty busy. So I don't know if he'll have time to... He already has to build six more... Um, garden beds because we're doing above ground so he has to do six more beds 
which he said he was going to start like in May, April, May, April, May. He's going to do them indoors, like in our basement, which that should help. Hopefully we can have them all ready before it's time to start planting. But there's so many other things we need to do. So many other things we need to do. <clears throat> okay. This. Oh, I need a drink of coffee. Okay. So I'm hoping that we get chickens. I would love to get chickens. We're not going to the campground this summer. And the main thing for this, this oh, I forgot all those black. Decision for that is we didn't go enough last year to warrant the amount of money that we spent to be there. And the year before, of course, we had gone out west, so we definitely didn't get our money's worth there. So we just decided that it's a lot of money to spend and not do it, like not use it. I know, I mean, we have a trailer that's there and we kind of need to use it, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what the, I'm, I mean, I'm, don't regret the decision. I'm glad that we did what we did because now in a month, we, you know, $3,000 would be owed. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I'm glad we don't have to pay that. But, so I think what we're gonna do is try to, I'm gonna do the black, because that's gonna bug me. We're gonna definitely try and go on vacation and just go to different places, right? So I'm hoping to go a few times next summer. I just don't like the idea of just going for a weekend because then it's like, you know, I'm gonna pack the trailer at the beginning of summer like we were going for the summer like we did before. And then all we have to do is pack it with the food that we need for the three, four, five days a week that we're gonna go. So we can even put like ketchup, mustard, relish, you know, like the basics that's gonna last a few months, put that in the trailer. And then when we're ready to go, we only have to figure out what we're gonna eat those few days and bring that. You know, put the essentials in there, paper towels, all that good stuff. Okay, there's that. That's done. I don't even know how I missed that. I think it's because there was this there and it's hard to tell where it ended. Okay, so now let's do the next color here. So it's F, F, which is number A. It's like a gray. So what I'm trying to do is putting the color I'm using over here, because a lot of times I get mixed up with the colors. Oh, what letter was I doing again? <laughs> I think it's because I'm talking, so I kind of forget. But if I have it on that side, then I won't forget. I can just look there. Okay, I was hoping to finish a section, but the way I'm going, I'm kind of all over the place. That was the whole reason why I did the section, but like I said, a few of them only had a few colors, like a few dots. So it's like, I don't want to take out a whole color for one. So I'm definitely going to go over and fill that in. So I think I have a hundred pages left of Emily Wilde's encyclopedia. And like there was two, well, there was one. Well, I guess the 
story arc is her um, studying fairies. But then, like, the story arc began, and I'm like, oh, okay, so this is what it's going to be about, you know, and once they fix this, it'll be done. No. It, they fixed it, and it's not done yet. I guess the main one, yeah, that, now that makes sense. I think the main one, and I don't want to spoil it, so what's that, number eight? The main one is not res uh, resolved. So that is number 14, so it's 413 this time. And it's another gray. So I, yeah, I guess it makes sense now, because that's not reserved, like, Resolve, not reserved, resolve. That's not resolved. But there's a second book, so I can't see that it's going to be resolved in this book. So they just go on, you know, little different adventures. And maybe because this is book one, they're kind of building up the world. Do you know what I mean? So I guess I don't, it's not that I hate it, not at all. I, I'm enjoying it. It's getting to be a little bit more exciting, I guess, in the last, I don't know, maybe 50 pages. So the first 100 pages was a little, a little slow, I found. But it was building, building up the world, I guess. Okay, so you're going to see a lot of progress there. <laughs> Dave came upstairs, and I just kept going because... I only have an hour, so I want to make sure that I get, you know, at least this section done. So, so here we go. Can I remember what I was talking about? Because that was like 10 minutes. Um, I think we were talking about, yes, the Emily Wilde's book. And I was like, oh my goodness, like, Okay, this will surely wrap the book, and it's it's not. But now that I think about it, you know, yeah, it makes sense that it's the other thing that's the main, and it's probably not even going to wrap this book because unless they go, like, some kind of other adventure in the next book, which I think it's coming out, like, in May or something, maybe April. Maybe. So. And I'll probably read it. I probably, if I can get, I think I can get it at the library because I checked and they're already like um, announcing in the eBooks, you know, like I put that I could, you know, notify me when it becomes available kind of thing. So I'll just get it from there. And that's what I've been doing a lot of. Instead of buying the books is I just get it from the library. So if it's a book that I really, really, really want to read, like a, a sequel or something like that, I just get it from the library. I find like I just have too many books. So I never thought I would say that, but I just have way too many books. Too many books, too many books, too many books. Reading from the library is what I'm going to do. Get this done. Okay. Now, did I get all the S's? Oh, and by the way, S is um, DMC 976. It's like a nice orange. Maybe next I should, well, no, I'll finish this. I was going to say, maybe I should do like a blue and so that I'm not like always doing blue at the end. 
but there's no blue in this section. See there, it's all blue. <laughs> oh, let's see this stupid thing. I'm gonna have to cut it down more. I think in before I go and work on something else, I think I'm gonna fix this. Maybe put some of this white paper right across and cut that clear thing because it's just, it's driving me crazy and it's noisy too. So let's get rid of it. And The Winners by Frederick Bachman. It is the third book in a series. I'm really enjoying like being back in that world. Like it's not a fantasy. It's not anything like that. It's more like a literary fiction, I guess you would call it. And it's about hockey. So, you know, of course I'm gonna, I'm gonna like it, but it's so much more than hockey. And there's a lot of stuff I see in there and I'm like, uh, yeah. Cause there is always a lot of drama and a lot of politics that surround hockey. <laughs> so like, yup. Okay, so now I'm gonna do C, which is DMC 301. So I am enjoying that. I think I'm at, I must be closing in on 300 pages on that. But it has 670 pages. So at first I was like, okay, I'll try to read, you know, 30 pages a day. It's gonna take me basically all of January to read, but it's a big book. And I wanna be able to read other books at the same time. But I'm noticing that I'm reading it really quickly. So I've pumped that up to 50 pages a day, which I've been able to, 40 or 50 pages, you know, and it's gonna take a few days off. So I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is that I'm done by the 23rd. Because I have, of course, I have another big book on my TBR for January. It was supposed to be Iron Flame, but I had put a book on reserve, like a hold, on in my lab, on my, in my library, on my library, whatever. And it was like twelve weeks wait or something like that. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you're next in line. Like, th this is it, do you want it? And I was like, what? Not realizing that this book is 639 pages or 49 pages. I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? So Iron Flame is about that, 650. So I'm like, there's no way I can read The Winners, which is 670. Iron Flame, which is 600 and whatever. And then the Fragile Threads of, it's by V.E. Schwab. The Fragile Threads of something. Anyway. I'm all stuck. There's no way I can read all, you know, three, 600 and 50 plus, we'll say, books in one month. Well, I could probably just do those three, but that's it. So I pushed Iron Flame to February because of course, once you get a book from the library, you have 21 days to read it. And there's 10 people waiting, so there's no way I can renew it. So that's why I'm trying to finish um, the winners a little quickly or quicker. That's so why I was thinking like the 23rd and then it'll give me, which is not much, eight days to read Fragile Threads of Power, I think it is. But I know that book reads really quickly because it's the continuation of, um, oh, what are they called? It's like all the different Londons, Red London, White London, with Lila and so I really want to read it. So, and 
and those books I read really, really quickly. So I think what I'm going to do is after I'm done Emily Wilde's, there's another book I really want to read is If You Dare by A.R. Tori, and it's the finale in that trilogy. I finished the first two books like two years ago, so it's like, okay, it's time it's time to wrap that up, finish that up, and that book too reads really quickly. I think it has 350 pages or something like that. It's not an extremely big book, but the, the way the pages are written, there's a lot of dialogue, like it reads really quickly. So I think before I read The Fragile Threads of Power, I'm gonna read that one. And then that way I'll almost be done the winners. So it'll feel like even though I'm starting another big book, it's not gonna be a big deal. I'm hoping to finish Emily's tomorrow, like Emily Wilde, because I think I'm at 220 or something like that, and I'm going to read to 250 today. 250, 260, we'll see. And then I'm going to start the other one the next day. So probably Thursday I'll start, if you dare. So, I don't know. It might be the 23rd by the time I finish both anyway. So we'll see. But I think that will become my main book. And I'll read like 100 pages a day or something instead of having two books. I'll just read from that. Or I also borrowed the last book in... Uh, the Shatter Me series, those read really easy. So if I get like, oh, this is a lot, like the big book, I can read from that book to kind of take away, you know, the heaviness of reading a 650 book, <laughs> 650 pages book. So I can say, oh, I'll read, you know, 20, 30 pages out of that, and then I'll come back and read a chapter or two and get through that way. So, hey, I don't know why I decided to do the C's here, but I did. So I'm kind of doing two sections at one, like this section and that section, and that's okay. The only problem is, is then I'll only have blue left, which is kind of sad. I was gonna say maybe I should do a blue um, section after, but I think I wanna finish that. I really do. At least I can say, hey, I finished one section today. I finished one section today. See, if a section like this takes me a month, then there is no way that I'm going to get it done by the end of December. That has a burr. We'll get rid of that. There's no way I'm going to have it done by the end of December. I would love to film two a week, like maybe film one on Tuesday and one on Thursday. The problem with Thursday is I am I go live on YouTube, but maybe that would be an easy video to do after the live. I find after the live, it's really hard for me to film any kind of videos because my brain is so tired. So 52. My brain is so tired, but maybe something like this would be, you know, even if it's just like half an hour. It would be half an hour more than I'm doing now on this thing. I found I did quite a bit last time when it was half an hour. I mean, I didn't have a big section left and I finished it, so. 
And then maybe that way I'll get this done before the end of the year. For a while, what I was doing was I was putting on an audiobook and I was doing this while I was, you know, listening to an audiobook. But I don't know. I found that recording it gave me more of a motivation to do it than actually listening to an audiobook. Okay, we're almost done. See, I'm doing it over here again. <laughs> it's okay, it needs to get done. When I come to this section, I won't have a lot to do. And the thing was, this section was so small I needed to, to get this done. Needed to get this done. Oh, I can't wait for regular TV to start again. I think it's not till like February, which I mean, it was good because we had the Game of Thrones that we, you know, needed to get through. So, I mean, perfect timing, right? We got, we got, we're going to be watching the whole season and then we're going to jump in to the House of Dragons right away, I think. I think there's 10 episodes, so it won't take us long. We usually watch one or two episodes every night. Usually after two episodes, I'm like, okay, I want to read now. So, and then my husband goes and watch, watches hockey, and I read. So, yay, that's done. So that was 52, I think, yes. Because look what I did. I have two here. Shouldn't do that. Okay. Now we're going to do A. On the clock, it's getting to be close to an hour. But because Dave came upstairs and was up here, I'm sure it was a good 10 minutes. Now we're gonna do A, which is DMC 783. And I think, I'm just thinking of everything else I have to do, but I think I'll be okay, even if I go a little longer and just kind of do my hour, because last week I didn't do an hour, so. I need to do an hour, make a dent. So I'll keep going, make sure it's an hour. Oh, another thing I have to do is I have a sublimation printer and I have a heat press and I wanna make hats, like ball caps for Mason's team. And I'm kind of freaking out because the, the ball caps you know, weren't cheap. So if I screw it up, it's like, you know, quite a bit down the drain every time. And um, so I'm like, oh, I really wanna get it done. They have a tournament in two weeks and I was hoping to give it to them for that tournament. So, I think tomorrow afternoon, Katie's going to need help. So I won't be able to do it tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be able to do it today because I need, I need to have videos that I need to film. I need to film two or three on top of this one. So I'm hoping Friday morning, maybe what I'll do is first thing, get up and film the video and then right away at least try, oh, look, there was two L's and I did L's down here. Oh well, uh, try to work on those hats. Maybe this weekend, oh, this weekend. 
probably have to go away for hockey, like just for the day, but 11, it's quite far away. Well, not far, far, but far enough. It's an hour and a half away, 11. So we'll do the peas. Um, and that is DMC 334. So yeah, so hoping I could get that done. Another thing I do is I film all the hockey games and I put it on the Facebook group because they have a Facebook group for the team. So there's always people that can't go, right? Like parents, you know, have to work or whatever. They Or they have two kids that are in hockey, they're carton. So then they get to see their kids playing. The coaches use it for looking, okay, you know, this is this is what the kids did really, really well and they can show them and then they can work on um, drills to improve what, you know, something that they need to work on. And <clears throat> so like tonight there's a game, so I'm gonna film it. And then when I get home, I have to right away <clears throat> try to, and it's so much easier because I edit without sound. So then I just have to upload it to my computer, bring it to iMovie, take the sound away. Then I have to render it. I have to, then I put it up on Facebook, on the Facebook group. But then I also put it up on YouTube because then I get a link and it's an unlisted link. So you need like the link or whatever. And then what I do is I make a PDF and then at the end of the season, I give, I post the PDF to the Facebook group. And then the parents will have, because you never know when, what these, is gonna happen, right? Um, like these Facebook groups, they might shut them down, like, you know, like the team or whatever. So the PDF, that way, they're just gonna have, they're just gonna have it forever if they want to. So that takes a bit of time too. Uh, I'm trying to stay up to date and do it right away and then that way, it's less overwhelming to have one game to do, and then I'm, I, I don't risk um, mixing the games too, right? So like before Christmas I did, I fell behind because I couldn't make it to one of the tournaments because I had, you know, the big C. So one of the moms filmed for me and I didn't get, the videos right away because you know you just have to figure out the lit well we tried and it didn't work i brought my computer it didn't work it wouldn't download her the videos let's go with uh four i'm trying to do um i'm trying to do the blues for a bit because i know it's going to be annoying when i all i have to do is all blues so, and that is DMC 798. So that didn't work. So then she ended up putting it on a USB and giving it to me and stuff. And then that week, that's what I did. I concentrated on getting all those. Cause a tournament you're talking, I think it was, it was five or six games. It was a lot cause they made it to the finals. And, um, so anyway, we, I don't want to do that after Christmas. I want to make sure that I get stuff done in a timely manner. And I think what I'm gonna do, cause he has a, a tournament in February, is I'm going to bring my computer and then, you know, when we go back to the hotel or at night, just before bed, is that even, a, just before bed, I'm gonna edit those videos and put them up right away. 
maybe not on YouTube, but at least if they're all done and rendered and I can put them into files and that in the viewfinder. Okay. So that that is, you know, quite a bit of work too. On top of everything else, but I want to get those hats done. I don't know if I can maybe get the videos done today. I have to go get Mason though around four. Um, so, I won't have a lot of time, right? And what I've been doing, I used to edit videos in the afternoon, but now because I just have so much stuff to do, is I edit videos at night. <laughs> and that's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna be, f I'm hoping for a while, because I, you know, in usually in the afternoon, I would be editing, but now I'm cutting up die cuts and stickers and, and getting ready for our store launch of physical products. So I'm getting that done now in the afternoons. Just looking at the time with my glasses, it's hard to hard to see all across there. But I think if I go for another 10 minutes, it's going to be might be just over an hour or just an hour. But I think it'll be closer to 1 hour. Okay. I'm going to Stop there with the, oh, look, I forgot two Fs. With the fours, I'm going to try and just keep it to that little section right there. It'd be cool if in the next 10 minutes I could finish that little section. I'm going to go with green right now. T is uh, DMC 895. 895. So that's cool. So, oh, that has a burr. Oh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Get rid of it. Okay. You know, sometimes I wish that there was more time in the day, but I'll tell you what I wish. For more than that I wish I had more oomph you know and the only way to get more oomph is to exercise and my favorite way to exercise is to walk and it is so cold right now there's no way oh one good thing is Dave went to get Mason skate sharpened because on New Year's Eve, they went and skated on an outdoor rink for eight hours, and there's nothing worse for the blades of the skates than that. He did skate on them a couple times after, and I'm like, okay, it's 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 time, right? So we got those sharpened, and while he was there, he was walking around because there was a tournament that weekend, and whenever there's a tournament, oh, there's blade sharpening places are ridiculously busy it's like everybody went oh gosh we forgot to sharpen their skates and it's a tournament so usually after their first skate you know their first game and the kids are sliding all over the place and then they're like oh we better sharpen their skates so it's usually busy you usually have to wait like an hour this time he waited an hour and a half like it was crazy and uh, so while he was walking around, he found me a pair of Merrells. And I those are my favorite sneakers for hiking. And they were 50% off. So I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
So he got me a pair. So I'm ready to start hiking the trails this summer, which we are going to do a whole lot more than we did last summer. 100%. Okay, so now we're going to do the Y. So I want to switch to blue again, and that is DMC 797. I must be getting close to my hour because I am coughing up a storm. Not sick anymore. It's just I can't get rid of that cough. I think I had bronchitis. I think I fought it on my own, but now it's just kind of the end of it. Takes eight weeks to get rid of bronchitis. <laughs> it can take up to eight weeks before you stop coughing. So it's like, geez, little wheeze. We all got it. So let's get rid of that. And so I, I usually it starts up when I've been talking for an hour. So that's why I said I must be getting close to an hour because I'm hacking up a storm. Okay. <clears throat> the good thing is I don't think I'm coughing at night, so, which is good. Okay, let's do the V, which is 34, which is DMC 890. Let's try to get this done really quickly. And then we'll do the F and the eight and the two, and we're gonna stop it here for today. So I did much longer than I thought. Although when I, cause I always, I always like to do like a to-do list and I'm pretty sure, no, I think I had put nine to 10. And I started a little later, I think it was 917. So it was just slow going this morning. And then I'm gonna go upstairs. So now it'll be like my first video upstairs is probably gonna be 11 to 12 because I, cannot move to something else without cleaning this up. So I need to clean this up. It only takes like 10 minutes, but, you know, use the washroom and all that good stuff before I go upstairs. I'm still in my PJs. I like to diamond paint in my PJs. So I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll go do that first video and second video really quickly. It'll probably take me, it takes, usually takes me about an hour, an hour and a half each. So that's another three hours. And then I'll probably cut some more stuff with my silhouette until it's time to go get Mason. Have to leave at about 10 to 4. Four, I think. 10 to 4. And then we'll get there. In lots of time. Make sure he's not late. Okay. Let's get this done. Was a nice little section that we got done today. We got all this done and then the bottom one, it was the perfect one to choose for after that one. And we did a little bit over here, not too much, but enough, you know? I like that it's divided by section and then I can say, okay, I'll do a big section and a little section. So we'll see, maybe this Friday, maybe I'll try to do A little one. I'm trying to make sure that I, I mean, my channel is, you know, scrapbooking. So I want to make sure I do mainly scrapbooking stuff. But 
I always label them really well. So if someone's not interested in, um, so F is 317 and it is number eight. It's just confusing because then there's a number eight right beneath. So I was double checking. So yes, if someone's not interested, then they can just, you know, skip over because it's well labeled. Okay. Then we'll do number eight, which is number 14. Number eight, which is 14. Don't need much of that one. We'll see, like I said, I still have to do those hats. I'd like to get those out of the way before I really do anything else. And number two is two, and that's why I couldn't understand why eight was an eight, but that's okay. <laughs> number two is two, okay. And we just need one. Actually, I despise putting these on, so if I'm gonna take it out, and a lot of people like them, I don't. So I'm gonna put a few on. And it just means it's less that I have to do later. Usually I totally leave them right till the last minute because I don't. I find it pulls the wax out of your pen and. Okay. Okay, I think that's gonna be good because I want, I still want Oh, I guess I'm going to have to get another one of these because I, I put this on there. So it doesn't stick to itself. And if I put little ones there, then it'll have less space to stick to it. Okay. Well, we're going to stop it here. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole row of putting the white thing on. I think I'll wait next time that I actually go to do this, only because I've already spent more time than I planned on today on this. So I'm going to just put stuff away and come back to it another day. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna end it here. So if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I wanna thank you so much for watching. Bye.